Hi, I'm Zach and I'm back with another Bite Size Build video. I moved to Vermont a couple of months ago and I'm getting my new shop set up. The first project I wanted to complete was building a miter saw station along this long wall. I really like to start many of my projects in Fusion 360. It helps me visualize and work out how I'm going to build things before I even go into the shop. It also helps me during the build to get my dimensions for cutting material. This table design can be used for any purpose. If you want to build one like it, I'll have a link in the description as well as the project article on my website where you can download the Fusion 360 project. You can go into the parameter table and input the length, width, and height for your table and it will update the design for you. I started by cutting the longest pieces that will be the stretchers of the work table. For this next step, I've got eight pieces that are all the same length, they're 35 inches long. One of the reasons you want a miter saw station is so you can set up a stop block and make repeatable cuts so that all of your lumber ends up the same length. I've got all the wood cut at this point and the next step will be to assemble the top and the bottom of the table. Why do they put these staples at the end of these 2x4s? It really is annoying, I have to pull them out. I got tired of measuring the same two spots for drilling holes, so I made this quick jig that I could slap down anywhere and pre-drill the holes where I wanted the screws to go. I've now finished the top and the bottom section of the table. Now I need to tie it together by assembling the legs. At this point, I've finished screwing together the 2x4s. This is going to be the left table of the miter saw station. The last thing to do is to put on a sheet of plywood, and I'll top that off with a layer of hardboard. So at this point, I'm done building the left side of the table. Now it's time to move on to the right side of the table. This one's gonna be identical to the first, except that it's gonna be a little bit shorter. As I was getting started on the right side, I got a call from my wife saying that there was a bunch of cows in our driveway. Here's a quick little shot of what just went down. I'm surrounded by dairy farmers and occasionally the cows break through the fence and they start roaming free. Luckily, we were able to round them all up and get them back inside their pasture. I finished building the two side tables, now it's time to build the center table where the miter saw sits on top. I need to make sure that the center table is built at the right height, that way when the miter saw sits down on it, all the surfaces line up. I removed the old screws that were holding the saw to my temporary stand and moved the saw into place. I just bought a really cheap laser line level for my closet shelves and it came in handy for aligning the fence so that it's parallel to the front edge of the table. I pre-drilled some holes once I had aligned the saw and bolted it into place using some lag bolts. I made sure they were long enough to sink into the 2x4 below. The whole goal with this miter saw station was to build something very simple that is upgradable. Eventually I'd like to add some features like a fence, a stop block system, and maybe even some storage or drawers either below or above the tables. If you've built your own miter saw station or have suggestions on how I could make this better, please let me know of your ideas down in the comments. I'll take a quick second here to thank Movo Photo for sending me the WMIC50 wireless lav mic system. If you watch some of my older videos, you'll notice that I use a wired lav mic 
and it was very cumbersome and it got in the way and I'm really happy to be able to use a wireless lav mic when I make these videos. If you want to learn more about Movo Photo, I'll have a link in the description where you can check out their products. If you're new to this channel, you may not know that I make a lot of other cool project videos like this. If you want to watch some of those videos, I'll post some links here. Remember, if you want to subscribe to Bite Size, you can also do that by clicking here. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully it's inspired you to make something that you're excited about. My name is Zach and I look forward to seeing you next time. Eventually I'd like to add some features like a fence or a stop block system or even some organized a stop block system and maybe even some drawers or organized